Good afternoon everyone, I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to launch your own cryptocurrency. Now, there's a few videos on YouTube, none of them show you the whole picture. So I'm going to show you how to deploy a smart contract, how to edit it to suit whatever your tokenomics are, how to deploy it, add liquidity and actually launch your token. So I've run many multi-million dollar projects. I've consulted on about 20 projects that have hit CoinMarketCap and CMC. Some of them have hit Central Exchanges. So I know a fair bit about contracts. I'm not actually a developer, but I know how to operate them. And me and my dev actually build contracts that we want to deploy for ourselves and anyone else that we're working with. So I'll show you the full picture and I'll give you the full understanding. So all you need in order to launch a token without any experience is this video. I'll show you from start to finish. And by the end of the video, we're gonna have a token that you can actually buy and trade. I'll also show you how to operate a contract and I'll also give you the contract that you can use. So this is a contract that we use at the moment. So in order for you to get a full picture of everything, it's all down to experience. Nothing in a video can show you exactly what you're gonna experience running a project. So marketing aside, this is the technical aspect of running the token. So we've got our contract here which is gonna be in the link in the description as well as my call channels are in the link in the description. So check them out. Everything else will be in the description so you can check out. So remix.ethereum.org is what we're gonna to use to deploy the smart contract. That means we're gonna put it onto the blockchain. So we're gonna go here and click new and we're gonna name our token Fox Inu. So, and all we're gonna do is copy the contract here. And don't be too fussed about what everything means. That's a, you know, a story for a different video. So what I'm gonna show you, this is a reward contract, meaning that if someone holds the token, they get paid in a, whatever token you select. So I'll show you how to change that. So here in 172 is where you're gonna change. That is, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's BUSD, judging by the name. So put it into PooCoin. So that's BUSD. So this contract is set to pay out rewards in BUSD to whatever you select, yeah? So if you want to change it to, I don't know, Ethereum, for example, you can go here. It must be a BEP20 token, so it must be on the Binance Smart Chain. Click onto here, the contract, and you want to select this one. You don't want to select any of these because it's case sensitive. So let's make this contract an Ethereum contract for no reason at all. So we want to copy that number there. That should be done. If you receive an error, make sure the code is correct, but it should be fine. After that, all we need to do is change the name. Everything else can be function changed functionality-wise through BSC scan, which I'll show you. So the name here is Fox Inu on 327. You cannot use a space here. If you put a space, there'll be an error. So make sure there's no space. Also, we've got the name of the token. So we're gonna change that to Fox Inu. You can have a space here. And this will be what shows up on the name of PooCoin or any other charting tool or any other website where you're listed. The symbol, likewise, we're going to put as Fox. That's the ticker um, or sometimes called the symbol that will be shown as there for the pair. Once that's done, this is the supply. If you want to change the supply, you can just add some zeros or you can change the number. For now, we're going to leave it at 100 million on there. Once that's done, there are the liquidity fees, sell multiplier, so if you want your sell tax higher, but I'm gonna go into details on this um, shortly once we've deployed the smart contract. And after that, that's pretty much done. There's nothing really you can do um, that needs changing on the contract. It's already done. It's a reward contract. We're gonna play with the tax afterwards, change it in the tokenomics. So what you wanna have selected is 0 0.76, yeah? That's the one you want because that is the compiler version for this contract. Language is Solidity and D EVM is the default. Make sure you've selected Auto Compile, enabling optimization, and you want to make sure you've selected Fox Inu. It should be Fox Inu and bracketed Fox Inu. So make sure it's not off. Once that's done, go over to here and you want to select, it will be selected. It will be defaulted to JavaScript. You want to make sure it's injected web free, connect your wallet, it will prompt you to connect your wallet and it should show up your wallet here. Once that's done, make sure you, you select this one 
otherwise it will not work so do not click that because it defaults to it make sure that's selected and you want to deploy now this will make your token live trading will be switched off at the moment that is the cost of deploying a smart contract at the moment so i believe that's 12 dollars at the moment so once this goes through our contract is now deployed on the blockchain technically it's not able to be traded because there is no liquidity but we're going to go ahead and we're going to find our token now so you could either go into the transaction or you can click your wallet go over to here this is how i do it just to make sure and we want to go to contract creation you can go to bet 20 as well if you want contract creation click fox in you and that is your token now this is your contract address you want to give to people to purchase so now we want to verify our contract that's the next step so click contract click verify and you want to copy all of this make sure there are no changes to the contract otherwise it will not verify click solidity single file click the version 7.6 MIT license continue copy your code in here which we've just copied make sure optimization is enabled check you're not a robot and then a verify I should be explaining everything but this is just a simple step and this is all you're going to need to know in order to verify it and fingers crossed once the verification is done correctly we can go ahead and we can start to code our contract how we want so in order to connect your wallet you make sure you're connected and approved on bsc scan this is the wallet i'm going to be using and what we're going to do is we're going to write the contract and we're going to connect our wallet the only person that can connect their wallet and operate the contract is the person that owns the contract yeah you can give the ownership to someone else but i'll go through that afterwards so here's what we're going to do and run you down if you have any further questions because i'm probably going to miss a lot on here because there's so many functionalities and there's so many different scenarios that could come up later on i can teach you how to operate this contract later on just drop me a comment below any questions contact me on telegram so what we're going to do is we're going to set the liquidity fee um, as well so what you want to do first things first is change the fee amount so the marketing and liquidity fee will be set or will be set to whatever you deployed from your wallet so we can go ahead and check that afterwards on the read function but for, i think for now we want to do liquidity fee so i want two percent into my liquidity I want 5% reflections in Ethereum and I want a 5% marketing and I want to put 100 down here because that's the unit denomination. So my tax will be 255. We're going to write that and that is going to be my tax now. Yeah, and I'll just show you. Obviously, play about with it once you get going. And we're going to set the max transaction now. Yeah, so that is out of 1,000. So that means... If you want 1%, you have to put 10. If you want 10%, you have to put 10. So we're just going to go for a 1% wallet, which should be 10, actually. So let me go ahead and cancel that. So we're going to put a 1% max transaction. Yeah, so that means they can buy 1% per trade, buy and sell. And we're going to put a 2% wallet, which will be 2%, which will be 20, my apologies. We're going to click confirm and we're going to go to sell multiplier. We want exactly the same tax, which will be 100. If you want to double the sell tax, you can put 200 in there. If you want to triple it, you put 300. And this is the part which activates the trading. So false is how to stop trading and true is how to switch it on and you just write it. Yeah. Other than that, you can transfer ownership here. There are other functionalities in the contract, but at this time, you're not going to need it. By all means, have a chat with me and I'll teach you a bit more about the contract and how it operates. You know, later on when you're at 100K market cap, things may change. So now we're going to add liquidity. So we've got our token live now. We've set our wallet to 2% max wallet. We've set our taxes. We're going to go ahead and copy it here. Our Ethereum reward, Foxy New is now deployed. So we have no liquidity, so no one can 
even trade this and our trading is switched off at the moment. So we're going to go ahead here and we're going to copy the contract address up here. Now we're going to add liquidity. So liquidity is here. And we're going to go ahead and add liquidity. So we want to select our currency, which is Fox in you. I understand. We'll import that. And you want to select BNB. Make sure it's not wrapped BNB. And we want to put our supply in here. So you can put either 90%. You can burn half of it. or And we're going to add one LP. So I'm going to add all of the supply. And I'm going to add one LP, one BNB LP. Now this is the pair so people can trade the tokens and the liquidity pair. So once that's done, we're going to enable it and then we're going to click supply. Give it a few seconds and then we're going to activate the trading and we should be able to test it. You should always test your contracts before you actually launch it because you might have messed something up. It takes practice and we're going to just put one LP here and that should show up shortly now. So we've got one BNB in there. Trading is switched off, but now we're going to activate the trading very shortly. So all I need to do is have my wallet connected, the correct wallet, go all the way down, and we're going to click on true. So we're going to write true here with no spaces at the end, no capital letters. So make sure it's a lowercase. We're going to click true. And this may seem all like mumbo jumbo. Um, you know, it might sound very confusing. I don't know how it works. Once you've done it a few times and you've deployed a test contract and you've played about with it with yourself and some friends, maybe you can look at launching your own project um, as well. So that should be tradable now. So our trade button has gone white and there are no buys. So I'm going to go ahead and purchase now. I'm going to do a few purchases and we're going to just check everything works correctly. So I, I, need, I should really connect my wallet first. And um, we're going to do a purchase of 0 0.1. And I'll show you how to check that the Ethereum rewards have worked correctly. So we're going to go ahead and purchase. And we're going to wait for that to go through. And then we're going to do two more buys. And then we're going to do a sell. So you can see the tax here, which we've set to 13.13. And then we're going to go to 0 0.3. And there is a cooldown timer on this to stop. Let me switch that off. So I'll show you what this does. There is a cooldown timer on this contract to avoid. It's a part of an anti-bot measure. So I can just type false and zero and write that. So it, I think it's the, we set it to 15 seconds. We usually have that at launch. And people can't just buy from multi wallets um, off of that. So... Oh, I think it's a max wallet could be the issue as well. So let's just put that down. And we'll do a sell after this and then see exactly what works. So there seems to be a few people purchasing this. It makes no sense. But once that's done, we're going to do a sell transaction. I'm going to show you how the rewards work now. Fingers crossed. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to sell this amount now which might not go through because of the uh, the max wallet but I think this wallet's the the deployer wallet so we may not have an issue with it because it's exempt from all fees and taxes so that is my sell so we're going to go ahead and explain what this is so that is my sell transaction I got taxed 13% buy and sell oh god there's people buying this and <laughs> so we've got a sell transaction there. Yeah, that is my sell that I sold. This is the contract. Now, this is important to explain because it is set to sell 3 million tokens. At a higher market cap, 3 million tokens is going to be a lot. So $1, 5% um, of that, $1, well, half of it or 5% of that, of the total fee, went to marketing and went to Ethereum rewards. So we can click here and we can see the contract worked perfectly. So Ethereum was purchased for BNB, swapped, 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 and then sent out to holders. That's how it works. It sends it a dividend tracker and it goes out to holders. So these buyers probably prompted the rewards to go out as well. No, it doesn't look like it, but 
because it needs a tiny bit more volume for it to work. Actually, there was only myself holding, so it all went to me um, <laughs> in that. So in theory, this has worked perfectly and the contract works. At sometimes you may need to lower this transaction. I'm going to show you how, because this is a really important part. When people say the contract is selling too, too much, you may have an issue with that. So go back over to your contract, which was here. And we're going to go to the read function now. I go to the read function so I don't mess up the numbers. Scroll all the way down and it's called swap threshold. Yeah, I'll explain what the numbers are shortly to you. So right, connect your wallet and we've copied that number. So search swap and we want to enable true. If you switch that off, the marketing will get no money. You'll get no money. Rewards won't go out. So there are nine zeros here and there is a free there so 3,000 or 3 million and nine zeros at the end so if you need the contract to sell less you'll just put a one here and I'm going to write that now and I'll show you how exactly that will work so we've lowered it from 3 million to 1 million so technically if that was a sell now that would sell 34 cents 33 cents instead so when the market cap goes higher you do not want it selling 3 million randomly especially at the start on the flip side you can have it sell often but it depends on how your chart looks but i'll leave it up to you at least you know now how that functionality works so you might want the chart to you know dump a lot so people buy the dip and goes up all in all it's up to everyone else but in theory you've now launched your own cryptocurrency and you've got your own token out now there isn't too much to teach at this stage the marketing aspect is up to you but as you can see my token is already at $300 market cap. So, yeah, so I'm probably going to remove the liquidity. I'll let these bots sell whenever and then I'll probably remove the liquidity afterwards. So don't buy this token. I might even pause the trading. And after that, if you have any questions, you can reach me on the links in the description. My telegram is there. If you have any questions, go to my call channel and find out from there. And as always, the links are in the description below. If you have any questions, please let me know. Take care.